In this video you will learn how to make an electronic key which can be used to turn on and off electronic equipment. The circuit consists of two parts. You have a frequency generator which is the good old 555 and then you have a tone decoder or a frequency decoder and that's an LM567IC. Now how this is going to work, the 555 circuit is going to put out a frequency out of pin 3. Now the frequency I chose is roughly 380 kilohertz. Now this circuit here will is looking for that frequency. Now if a frequency comes in lower or if it comes in higher this circuit will not activate. It's looking for a frequency around 380 kilohertz. Now there is a little bit of a spread in the bandwidth. It may trigger between 365 and 390 and you could narrow that bandwidth using the calculator online. I think I have mine down to two or three percent on the bandwidth. So the only way the circuit will trigger is when it detects the frequency out of this 555 circuit. So you can have electronic equipment that you may want to be able to activate and deactivate but you don't want others activating and deactivating it. So what you can do is you could take the 555 circuit and you could enclose that in a plastic housing like this. This was from a USB flash drive. You could put the entire circuit inside here and then all you would need is a larger version of this connector which is just three pins which would go inside this key, inside this holder. And on the equipment that you want to be able to turn on and off, you would have a matching female connector which would accept this key when it's plugged in. Once the key is plugged into the circuit on the equipment, the LM567 circuit will be receiving the frequency being emitted from the 555 circuit and it will activate the 567 and in activation pin 8 will connect to ground allowing current to flow through a relay into the emitter of a PNP transistor I used a 2N3906 and it flows directly through the IC to ground turning on your equipment so you can control pretty much whatever you want to control as long as the relay contacts are rated for the rated for the load. Now this LM567 circuit which would be mounted on your equipment would only turn the equipment on if a frequency around 380 in my case is which I set if 380 kilohertz was being detected or near that there is a little bit of spread on the bandwidth so the detection area is between 365 and 390 then the circuit will trigger if you get anything lower or anything higher this circuit will never activate now the best way to set it up on your equipment you would have a connector a much larger version of this where this key would plug in the key has the 555 circuit which produces the frequency which would activate the equipment so on the equipment you will have this connector one pin on one end will have the signal input which would be receiving the signal from your 555 frequency generator. The other two pins are nothing more than the power supply feeding the 555 circuit inside the key. Now it doesn't matter, this is on the machine, if somebody wants to play around with these connections and start shorting them and jumping them around, you will not get the equipment to work. You can connect a positive to the signal input, the machine will not come on. It's looking for the frequency. If the frequency is not there, the equipment will not turn on. This is really a great circuit if you're looking to protect some equipment from other people using it or maybe you have a, some other motorized equipment that you want to be able to plug in and have it turn on and you're the only one that has the key. This is it. This is what you're looking for. So on the keychain you would have a male version or a female as long as each one of these is different so they could plug into each other. This pin here would be a signal output coming from the 555 circuit and the other two was nothing more than the power supply being fed into the 555 circuit to allow the signal output to be created. Once the key is plugged into the equipment the signal is sent into this input pin and your equipment is activated. 
When the key is removed, the equipment will be turned off. Now the maximum supply voltage of the LM567IC is 9 volts for the supply voltage, but the maximum voltage that's allowed to be fed through the IC to ground, powering the relay for instance, is up to 15 volts. If you want to power this using a 12 volt power supply, then I suggest you use an LM7805 voltage regulator or a 1 watt 6.2 volt Zener to have a Zener voltage regulator. And the 555 will also be powered by the same supply once they're plugged into each other. Here is the circuit right here. Now on the right side of the circuit we have the 555. This wire right here, this orange one, is feeding the 380 kilohertz signal into the LM567 tone detection circuit and that is why the LED is now active. If I remove the wire going from the 555, the frequency will no longer be there and the circuit goes out. Now there's an adjustment in this circuit with a potentiometer. You can adjust that value to get this set just right. The circuit is extremely reliable. I have no issues with false triggering with the circuit. You can copy all the values I have here. If you don't feel like using the online calculators, I will post the link in the video description box. Now the frequency, I'm going to take the wire off of pin 3 from the 555, touch it to the probe, And you have 380 kilohertz, 384. Plug it back in. And the green LED is back on. If you're looking for a security type circuit that no one can activate an electronic device or a piece of equipment unless they have a key to plug into it, this circuit will work extremely well. If you enjoyed this video, please rate it a thumbs up subscribe and please post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Thank you.